Welcome to the research at Zikan. Today I'm at the Mathematical Fluid Mechanics Lab in Kyoto University to meet Dr. Uh, Mr. Kazaki Hiratashi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Could you please describe to us the research that you do? Okay. Uh, my research theme is to investigate the transition process in rotating plane quiet flow. First, I roughly explain what is the rotating plane quiet yes, flow. Please. Please see this figure. This is the configuration of rotating plane quiet flow. Quiet flow is the flow which is driven by wall movement. In my case, front wall move to left and uh, the other wall move to the other directions. And uh, these this walls are rotated with uh, constant angular velocity. This configuration is called rotating planquet flow. Next, sorry. Yes. So this, the, in the, the model, mm -hmm. there's a wall sliding, and yeah. then the whole thing rotates. Yes, exactly. And next, I will explain what is that transition in flow. This photo is the experimental result. Uh, when the flow speed is slow enough, this flow is, and we can't see any vortex in this uh, scene mm. and uh, this flow is called laminar flow and uh, when the flow speed is uh, fast enough uh, we can observe such a really complicated flow field this flow is called turbulent flow uh, in many cases in some cases uh, the flow transit such a laminar flow to turbulent flow directly, but in many cases, and in my case, we have many sub steps between laminar flow and turbulent flow. Uh, That's only when there's an angular velocity. Yes. Hmm. Without rotation, uh, such a laminar flow transit to turbulent flow directly. directly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, in a uh, sub steps, we can observe such a uh, neat hmm. uh, structure. Yeah, neat uh, vortices. Vortices that has a really symmetrical structure. Hmm. This is called two-dimensional flow cell, and uh, this is uh, three-dimensional steady flow. I heard this was discovered 20 years ago. Um, Almost forty. Uh, forty. Fifth, fifty, mm. yeah. And this one is about. Is nineteen, nineteen, so almost twenty years, 20 years, 20 years okay. before. And uh, by to perform uh, investigation numerically, basically we create such a diagram called bifurcation diagram. In this case, uh, uh, longitudinal axis is velocity and vertical axis is energy. So it bifurcates at yes. higher speed. Yes. The solution laminar flow bifurcate here to another solution for two dimensional low cell and it bifurcate another solution uh, called the three dimensional steady flow. And uh, Basically, by performing uh, direct numerical simulation, we can observe such a transition because it's a numerical simulation. But by doing such a uh, sorry, su by such a uh, direct simulation, we can't observe such a this kind of unstable mm -hmm. solutions. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, our advantages by observe, to observe uh, transition mechanism. So your approach is numerical analysis? Yes. So you uh, solve the equation using mm -hmm. numerical analysis to find both stable and unstable yeah. solutions. Yes. And what are the equations that you use? 
Uh, yeah, we the equation we use is called Navier-Stokes mm, equation. For fluid dynamics. Yeah, yes. For com incompressible flows. Mm -hmm. For incompressible flows. Mm. But you add mm -hmm. the Coriolis force yes. to that mode, uh, the equation, yeah. and you do numerical analysis. Yes. Is that all assumptions that you use? Yes. So it's quite simple. Uh, yeah. I mean equation but still you get all these interesting solutions yeah that's interesting and also this kind of numerical techniques uh, uh, we can use these techniques for every equa every equations if such equation have this kind of transition mm -hmm. process mm -hmm. so in some day I want to uh, apply this approach to other cases such as such as yeah difficult question uh the and uh, yeah, trying to gather information about compressive flows mm. and uh, multi multi phase flows mm -hmm. but if there are another chances I can tackle mm. I I'm hoping to try and apply these numerical uh, techniques. I see. I heard that the this area with higher velocity mm -hmm. hasn't explored yeah, yet. Yeah, not so far. Not so far. So you are trying to tackle that yeah. too. Nobody has explored this area. Yeah, nobody. Mm, well, it's with, with higher velocity. Yeah. But you, have, you said you have some assumptions that there could be mm -hmm. different uh, phase here too. Different phase when there's higher velocity than 2D RC, 3D steady? Yeah, and uh, there have another uh, solutions because uh, this 3D steady become unstable mm -hmm. and when the solution become uh, changes from stable to unstable, uh, there is always have uh, they always have such a bifurcating mm -hmm. point, mm. and uh, we have another stable solution. So that's why we expect there is another uh, another state. Mm. So, yeah, w what is the difficulty we have now that you cannot? Yeah, basically, yeah. main the most difficult part of this kind of numerical method is computation computational mm. cost so yeah so so far uh, this field is unexplored mm. so you still do not have enough computational power to solve this not, uh, this area fortunately in now in our laboratory mm -hmm. we have good computers mm -hmm. to calculate mm. this region mm. So I'm planning to compute uh, next step. I see. Yeah. So yeah, right case. now you're working on this. Yeah. Higher velocity area. Yes. Oh, that's great. Okay. So now, could you uh, tell us what you can give to other researchers? Yeah. Technology. Yes. Bas basically, uh, all I all I can do is to investigate transition process so if uh, there is uh, and uh, hopefully there is uh, researchers who have uh, uh, interest to analyze transition process mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, use this kind of approach and these techniques and uh, I hope we can analyze its transition process. Mm. I see. So could you briefly describe about your future work? Uh, future work? Well, I find it hard. <laughs> <laughs> first, uh, I want to apply this approach, this new medical approach, to uh, industrial purpose. Mm. And uh, I'm also hoping uh, using this this approach to another flows mm. like compressible flows, 
multi phase flows and non newtonian flows I see so what do you wish to get from other researchers [ah] to to my my dream is to [ah] create good numerical [ah] techniques [ah] used which will be used in industrial scene so I'm now want want I want to gather the information or [ah] example I can apply this [ah] techniques for industrial purpose I see yeah [oh] thank you very much thank you very much that was very interesting yeah thank you thank you very much